Welcome back to Let's Play Cyberpunk 2077 with me, Jerupidus. And we are about to make what I think is going to be a very big decision with Misty's help. But first, there's something that I want to show you guys. And that is this. This is the development update, but it is done in the style of an N54 news report, and it is fantastic. Patch 1.2 looks pretty exciting. So let's uh, check this out here. Uh, welcome to this special report of N54 News, bringing news from Night City to every Night Citizen stranded away from home. Stay with us if you'd like to learn more about some of the upcoming changes. I'm Jillian Jordan, and here's what's new in Night City. Uh, NCPD Quick Response Team Too Quick? You heard right. The NCPD Quick Response Team is under fire from concerned Night Citizens and corporations alike. The rapid deployment tactics they recently adopted forced mercenaries to think twice before pointing a gun at anyone, but will now be adjusted to give the other side some breathing room. What was supposed to make night citizens feel safe on the streets resulted in a staggering drop of public trust towards NCPD officers. Quote, My Jum Jake, quote, My Chum Jake was in a shootout with the Tiger Claws the other day when he missed a shot and hit a pedestrian on the other side of the street. In an instant, the NCPD swarmed up on him and put him down. It's like they appeared out of thin air right behind his back. It's too brutal of a response for a regular accidental murder, if you ask me. Mike from Kabuki 28. Aside from upsetting the local community, the NCPD's effectiveness resulted in a tremor in the corporate security market. Uh, quote, personal security in Night City has always been our priority. The recent spike in NCPD efficiency might seem like a step towards their safety, but it isn't. Upsetting the, fra the fragile balance in the security sector might soon result in more people canceling their protection subscriptions and inviting gangs and terrorists to take over the city. Andrew Foreman, Militech PR manager. Regardless of how you look at the situation, it seems that the change will be a welcome one. We asked our experts to analyze the situation. And then this is going to be a quote from uh, someone from CD Projekt Red. So he says, this is an important step in addressing the behavior of the police in our game. It should, decre it should decrease the problem of N NPCs spawning behind players' backs and create an impression that it takes some time for the police to arrive at the crime scene after the crime has been reported. We've also added a recon drone unit to create the feeling of the police assessing the situation from Patrick, lead gameplay designer, and Lucas, technical design coordinator, CD Projekt Red. Now, I love this because it's a joke that when you get in trouble with the police in this game, um, they instantly teleport in behind you and start shooting at you and oftentimes kill you. Obviously, you can resolve that by just running away from them. Um, but I think the way that they've sort of rolled this criticism into a uh, Night City news report is just fantastic. So let's keep going with the rest of this because it's just great. So vehicular manslaughter statistics higher than ever. Look left, then right, then left again, and then run for your life. As morgues are filling up with roadkill, it is now statistically safer to stroll through Kabuki Market with shiny new cyberware than to cross some of Night City's intersections. The city council approved a bill forcing manufacturers to update their steering firmware. Soon, the mandatory update will allow for better synchronization between the Crystal Dome system and the vehicle, resulting in a more fluid driving experience even when the image signal skips a frame or two. In addition, drivers should also expect to be able to better personalize their driving experience by adjusting the sensitivity limits to a level they are comfortable with, providing a much-needed breather for insurance companies. Will this be a good change, or will it subject morgues, street sweepers, and auto repair shops to economic hardship? Here's an opinion from our expert. And then this is another quote from CD Projekt Red. Uh, Analyzing feedback on our driving model suggested a lot of players were having issues with the speed of the steering. Most complaints came from players using keyboards on PC or were on platforms with lower frame rates and centered around how hard it was to keep cars off sidewalks and such. We have added a steering sensitivity slider to the options menu. This allows the steering speed for all vehicles and all input devices to be slowed down without affecting the maximum turn radius. When experiencing lower frame rates, our cars were harder to control we traced this to some code that wasn't handling extreme changes in frame rate properly. The steering speed is now very consistent from 20 to 60 FPS. Last, we looked at a bunch of tweaks to individual cars and adjusted some of them that were too twitchy in low frame rates, including the player's Archer Hella from Seamus, senior vehicle programmer. And I haven't had frame drops. Um, I have pretty serious hardware, so I don't think that's the problem I've been having. But I do like the idea of if you don't want to rework the whole thing, just give me a slider so I can kind of mess around with it and get it so that it feels more intuitive to me. I, w I still wish that you could just mouse look to turn. Like, that seems like such an obvious change to me. I really don't know why everywhere else you would mouse look, look to turn. And then when you get in the car, it's left and right to turn, and mouse look is just uh, camera control. 
But either way, um, I think that's going to be a significant improvement and really help people because it is a fact that it is really hard to keep your car off the sidewalk. To the point where when you're just driving to jobs, it's a pretty much a matter of routine where you accidentally kill a couple of people and then have to run away from the cops around a couple of blocks and then come back to get back to what you're doing, which is pretty annoying. Anyway, let's keep going with this update. Uh, rock and roll for racers. No, it's not a new genre of music. The brand new rock and roll vehicle subsystem will allow any unfortunate street racer who missed a turn and ended up stuck on a pile of garbage to quickly get back on track. The system will allow drivers to rotate or rock their vehicles back and forth in order to regain traction. Gone are the days of abandoning a vehicle in the middle of the city just because things got out of control. Accidents happen, and being in a rush isn't a crime. Now, if someone appears out of nowhere when you're crossing a red light, you will still be able to make it to your meeting on time and let your insurance take care of the mess. Still not sure whether you need the subsystem installed in your vehicle? Let our expert convince you. Uh, there are cases where our vehicles can get beached or high-centered on stuff in Night City. We have now added an unstuck feature that kicks in when you are accelerating and not moving. While holding down the accelerator, you can now rock the vehicle back and forth or rotate it left and right. Uh, from Seamus. I assume that's how you say his name. He, he is Polish, so that may be a different pronunciation, but we're going to go with Seamus. Um, the senior vehicle programmer. And that's great. I was able to get the car flipped back over from being upside down, but I haven't actually high-centered it, I don't think. But either way, I've definitely seen videos of that, so that seems like a welcome change. You can at least get your car out of there. So that's nice. And update your neuroprocessor drivers or die. Uh, this is not a joke. It's raining men in Night City and not for the reasons you'd expect. Just over the last month, authorities recorded nearly 4,000 fatal accidents caused by a neuroprocessor glitch causing users to dodge without intending to. The manufacturer has prepared an update to address the issue. And uh, according to our survey, over 30% of all night citizens experience an irresistible urge to burst forward for no reason, and the majority of affected people admitted that it put them in danger of falling from a high place. Manufacturer claims that the glitch is caused by a lack of perfect synchronization between the user's brain patterns and the neuroprocessor. Uh, the update will allow users to better personalize their chips and match software responses with their neural patterns. Aside from resolving the issue with sudden dodging, it will also mean that people will find it easier to move and use the chip, regardless of their handedness, abilities, or personal preferences. What do these improvements mean in layman's terms? Our expert provided an explanation. Dodge on double tapping a movement key can be turned off in the control settings. The dodge action can still be performed by double tapping the crouch uh, action key, uh, default C. It should now be more feasible to move uh, WASD bindings around the keyboard. There still may remain a few bindings that need to be addressed, but these should be fixed in upcoming patches. From Wajtech Tools Programmer. And uh, it says, thank you for tuning in to What's New in Night City. We'll see you next time. So this one is interesting to me because it doesn't really solve one of the problems that I have a lot. I haven't actually uh, dashed and fallen off a high place. But I definitely do accidentally dash out of cover. And I would like it if when you were crouching and creeping around, uh, dash was just disabled. Like, that seems like the most sensible thing to me. Because when I'm crouching, usually I'm moving kind of cautiously. So I'm kind of like tapping, uh, you know, ARD to move side to side. And then I suddenly dash out of cover and I'm standing right in front of someone who I was trying to stay hidden from. The other one, the other binding they're probably talking about is that C is skip dialogue. And also crouch. So oftentimes you'll be crouching and somehow end up in some dialogue and you want to stand up because you don't want to be talking to this person while crouched down on the ground. And then you end up skipping dialogue. Now obviously there is a solution to that and that is when you're in dialogue, standing up from crouch is hold C. But I would rather that be the skip dialogue option. Because it seems easier to accidentally just press C and skip the dialogue than it does to hold C and skip the dialogue. Now, switching it now when people are getting used to it may be a mistake, but it seems to me that my brain, you know, and I, and I love this joke here, um, to, match their, to match software responses with their neural patterns, you know, making my brain, uh, under, like, my brain wants to do a thing, so make the game respond in a way that my brain expects. But anyway, um, I would go with hold C to skip dialogue because... If you, if you leave it on tap C, then you can really easily accidentally skip dialogue, which you don't want to do, especially if it's your first time hearing it. But that's my two cents, and I think that this update is very likable, very fun, um, and they're good at poking fun at themselves 
Like, this quote about the uh, cop teleporting in behind them is just great. It's really funny and good. And a lot of this reminds me of why I like CD Projekt Red. Um, another really good one. It's not this game, but in The Witcher 3, they did a really fantastic thing about some of the um, money exploits of the game that were patched out. But then later, this tax man kind of questions you about it, if you've ever done it. And then tries to collect taxes from you for having done that. Which is just great. It uh, really respects, like, people... It respects people's criticisms, but it also respects people playing the game in, in funny and unexpected ways and kind of leaning into that with game design. So anyway, that's it for the uh, patch 1.2 sort of development update. It isn't out yet, but I just kind of wanted to read it because I just thought it was so great if you haven't seen it. So let's get back to the game. Okay, let's go ahead and sit down. Let's try to wrestle with this decision. Oh, let's just say thanks, Misty. Thanks, Misty. You were right. Choice spot. So what did Jack decide to do? So what... What did Jackie decide up here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, I'm still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That what you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way. Just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. Um, I want to do all these things, but the main person I want to call is Pan Am. I felt like we had the closest relationship with Pan Am, and particularly the Elder Caldos. So let's call Pan Am. I'm calling Pan Am. Pan Am. Just want to hear her voice. Sure as hell hope it's that, and only that. Mm. Hey. Pan Am, hey. Do you know what time it is? Uh, sorry to wake you. S sorry to wake you this late. Is that why you called? To apologize for interrupting a good night's sleep? Uh, I don't know if we'll ever see each other again. To know that we'll see each other again. What? You know, fine. Fuck no, off. no, not like that. Make up your mind. Uh, there's something I gotta do today. Something. Something I gotta do today. Gonna be high risk, big time. But I have to. What is it? It's not for comms. Not really. Then shut up and tell me where you are. In the city? Yeah. Okay. Then plant your butt somewhere and wait. I'm on my way. You don't get it. I... I can't wait anymore. This has something to do with what you were telling me before? It does. Well, I'll say one thing. There's always a way out. Here's what you need to do. You need to take a few deep breaths. Then rethink all this... hard. And then you can call me back. Do you know why? Because I am here for you. But... End of discussion. Well played. Wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. Probably for the best. Would have said too much anyway. Was good you called. Wish I'd had the chance to. Yeah, I bet he does. We've come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think. It all started in a fucking landfill. Then he tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience. Okay, so this is the big decision. Uh, this decision determines the ending you get, I'm pretty sure. 
Um, I don't trust Hanako, so we're not going to go with that. I do trust Johnny and Rogue, but I'm getting a little bit tired of letting Johnny take control of our body. We've let him do it a whole bunch of times, and at the end of the day, this is still our body, and everything we're doing is to try to save our own life. And so what I think we're going to do is ask Pan Am and the Eldecaldos for help. Um, but I will put it out there that I will probably go ahead and change this decision and get all of the endings, but this is the one we're going to go with first. I'm going to try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. Uh, let's tell him we need a minute. Just... Hold on a minute. Need to think. <laughs> Could all just put all this to rest. Uh, okay. So I guess it loops you back around. So yeah, we're gonna go with asking Pan Am. Gonna try to ask Pan Am. You absolutely sure. Okay, and let's take the Omega Blockers. Yep, we're gonna do this with the Nomads. I'm gonna try this with Pan Am. Got a feeling you're gonna regret this decision. And the moment that dawns, I won't be there to help. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out, uh... Just wanna be there for it. Where? Let's stand up and call Pan Am. Ready to talk? Ready. I'm glad to hear that. So tell me. Need a way into Arasaka Tower. Now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny? I don't do something soon. I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well, odd as it sounds, a prison of souls. A prison of souls? Yeah. This might not fly over the hollow. Mikoshi, that's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear, you've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. Yep. <laughs> About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. What? Okay. Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right. I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. All right, let's get to it. Now, I know I said, uh that I want to help them and that they're our closest relationship, but why don't I elaborate on why a little bit? We've done a lot of stuff with the Eldecaldos. Um, we've been there all the way through just meeting Pan Am to Pan Am becoming one of the leaders, and everyone there really likes us and considers us family. We've done a lot of things for them. They've done a lot of things for us. And so I really want to see uh, right off the bat where that goes. Because they're probably my... The Nomads are my favorite thing in the game. They were definitely the most interesting thing to me and the most fun missions, in my opinion. So that's why we're going this way. But let's head to Misty's Esoterica now. Is that you, V? Or... Just me. Yeah, it's me. So, what now? Wait for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Let's pet this kitty. Who do we have here, huh? That's Mr. Brightman. We found the poor guy in the trash behind the clinic. I think he misses Jackie. Ain't alone. I remember petting that cat right at the beginning of the game, so I think petting it right now is pretty fitting. Since 
you have to wait. Mind if I give you a reading? Oh, I would love that, please. Why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. All right, let's do it. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Okay. Definitely Johnny. That's just what I was he gonna say. Great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The lovers. <laughs> Something that doesn't give me the chills, finally. Balance, friendship, love. Uh -huh. V, have you been keeping something from me? Huh? What? Why? You're making a strange face. I, uh... <clears throat> no, I'm fine. Okay, and Johnny's? The moon. Well, it doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. Hm. I think that's for you. Yep. No mistake in that ride ever. She looked upset about the moon one. You scared me, you know that. Didn't think anything could scare you. Hey, we're here to help, okay? Come on, everybody's waiting at camp. Look out for yourself, V. You too, Misty. You too, Misty. And thanks for everything. Seriously, thanks for everything. Like, she's been such a good friend to us. Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? Oh yeah, I feel totally fine. I guess. Mighty good to hear. You had us worried back there. You passed out and we couldn't shake you awake. It sure does seem like your uh, condition might be getting worse. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help, that's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on, I'll take you to see him. Pretty so, sick song playing I in there. Talk that there's a war coming. Got no choice in the matter. Afraid I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like we don't have one neither. The whole clan knows we set out tomorrow. The cat dragged in. Why? What our yeah. aim is? I think Look around, V. War tested no. veterans are a fistful <laughs> at most. The rest <laughs> mostly great rinky dig convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The aim is to help you out. The plan is solid, Salt. Do not go muddy in the waters. Not now. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually do. Looks like they're getting along same as ever. V, finally. How's your health? Uh, you know what? I've been better. What you got for me? Been better. So, what have you guys patched together? We still have details to iron out. 
But we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out. But only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. Uh, and we know this will work? Sure these plans are up to date? Completely reliable? Positively. We went to our Snake Nation sources. They've been turning stones over in that area. I'm not one to lie. This tunnel gambit is risky. But if it works, that's our way into Mikoshi. So you want to dig under Saka Tower? So you want to tunnel into our Saka Tower? I know how it sounds. But we'd be plumb fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corps building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corps' cirques, and we'd only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? Do I have any thoughts? I suppose I do. So, how do you expect to handle Militech at the construction site? Construction site? What do we got for security? Whole place spiked? Militech out in full force? It's your average hard hat area. Nothing too scary. But we can't just walk past them. We expect to see the usual. Drone patrols, on-site operators, restricted access. Uh-huh. Okay. Sounds like a lot of stuff we've done before. So, Cirque, what's that? What's a Cirque? A subterranean extraction and removal combine. It's... Automated tunnel boring. If we can grab one, we'll dig through to Arasaka Tower, then go on to Mikoshi. Okay. Um, let's let them know they can still change their minds. Plan, entire op. It's about heading into enemy territory. You'll make enemies of Arasaka and others. So it appears. I'm exposing you, all of you, to danger. Want out? Want to cut your losses? I'd understand. No hard feelings. You came to us for help. We decided we'd provide it. Our minds are made up. No more discussion needed. It's settled. We had best get to work. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Just no making decisions without me. Is there anything else you need? Uh, you and Pan Am agreeing all right? Hey, you and Pan Am. Something I need to know about. It's funny you should ask. I thought we'd smoothed over the rough edges between us. Then you showed up. Uh, that doesn't ring true to me. Doubt that's entirely true. I don't have any hard feelings towards you, V. The opposite, in fact. See, V? You're like the outsider who happens upon a family and witnesses nothing but endless quarrels. Then all of a sudden, the outsider's presence is noticed, and the family members shake hands, join hands, become stronger than they were before. Understand? Yeah. At least I think so. Good. So now you can tell me what else you'll need. All right, need to get in touch with Alt. We need a decent neck connection. Someone I know can help us get into Mikoshi. Who might that be? Um, yeah, let's just tell him. Alt and AI, and I need her help. Alt. She's... It's... An AI. From... Out past the black wall. Are you fully present up there? Why in hell would an AI help us break into Mikoshi? Because I'll ask it to. Nicely. Fuck me, V. You know what? Fine. We're up to our balls and dung anyway. Might as well go deeper. Find Dakota. She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thank you, Saul. Thanks, Saul. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. I will say this. We are always kind of coming to people with just the most ridiculous plans. And just absolute craziness. So we got to talk to Mitch, and we need to talk to Dakota. Why don't we pull up Dakota first, actually? You might as well have started. Hi, Dakota. Hey, Dakota. It's been a long while. What is it you need? Uh, I need access to the net. Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. 
Uh, hitting an encrypted BBS, is your tech up to it? Gonna be hitting a masked, encrypted BBS. Prefer nobody knew I was there. Your tech up to it? Up to it, he asks. Heading for the wild frontier, Dakota. You have all you need to pierce through to the other side. You needn't fear prying eyes. All right, and you're not curious at all what I want to do? Not at all curious what I'm going in for. You don't ask me, I don't ask you. That is the path to a lasting relationship, brother. Everything is ready. You can go in. All right, let's do it. I do hate these ice-filled uh, tubs. <laughs> ice-filled tub. Favorite bit. Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Uh, whatever happens, stay cool. Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? All right, time to move. Follow the vectors, brother. Oh, this song is so good. Hey, Alt. You're not terrifying at all. Hello, Alt. You come alone. Uh, place ever look the same? This place changes every time. Feels like I'm deeper. Can't tell if that's a good or bad thing. Your perception of cyberspace, that is what changes. You adapt to it, the raw flow of data. It follows that your world gradually fades. You witness your mind's defense system slowly give in. Saying, the more I'm here, the more I lose touch with the outside, with reality. You lose nothing. Cyberspace is where we awake from what we know as dreams. She's uh, filled with riddles as usual, so Johnny's currently indisposed. Johnny's currently indisposed. Currently, he is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger, a backseat dreamer of a world not his own. I thought you didn't care a lick about Johnny anymore. Seemed to me you didn't care a lick about Johnny. That he ceased to exist for you, even. If he did not exist, you and I would have nothing to discuss. Okay, wow. Uh, so let me get this straight. Johnny's your reason for helping me? Let me get this straight. I mean to say, you only agreed to help me because of Johnny. And since he's not here this one time, you're thinking of backing out. I do not aim to back out. I have my own intentions for Mikoshi. Because hmm. for a second you were displeased, and I seemed a side note to all this. To observe the two of you interacting. Informative. So, is all of this everything just an experiment to you? It's all just an experiment to you? Are we just fresh data to analyze, do what you want with? This is not an experiment. It is a debate. That Johnny is absent proves that I have won it. Wow. So you were actually out to prove him wrong, weren't you? Damn shame, really. You're out to prove him wrong, here, in person. But all you got is me. I think there's still some old Alt Cunningham left in you after all. Johnny also imagined he had more in common with you than with me. That Soul Killer had not changed him. That he too remains a human factor. And that is why he thought he could shape your will. No. Johnny made his peace with my decision. Of course. He had no choice. He understands this now. Alright, I don't have much time left here, Alt. Need your help, Alt. Don't got a lot of time left. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. Well, you make it sound so trivial. Uh, is that so? Didn't you cheat death? Speak for yourself. Didn't you cheat death? Is this what you believe? Your code, your consciousness. AIs live beyond reality's boundary. They live forever. But we are not immortal. 
You will begin to understand, but only in Mikoshi. Wow, Mikoshi is just getting more and more tantalizing through this conversation. So enlighten me right here now, why not? Why don't you swoop down on your chariot and enlighten me? Surely an all-powerful AI can handle that. Your logic is flawed. You seek simple answers where there simply are none. This is the very illusion upon which your world is based. At this moment, you would accept any answer if it made you feel better. Hmm. Guess that'd be... human of me. Such classifications no longer apply in Mikoshi. Your perception will shatter into billions of strings of unfiltered data. Oh, this writing is just so good. So what should I expect? What should I expect there? In Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. And uh, Johnny, what about him? Johnny? What happens to him? I lack the data required to answer this question. Is there anything we can know for certain? Yes. That Mikoshi will be no more. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free? They will be integrated with me. Hmm. I'm not sure Johnny would like the sound of that. Not sure Johnny would like the sound of that. And yet he is absent, because you feel you must make the decision. It is the same situation in form. <laughs> Hardly. Doubt you first gab with those constructs, ask them what they think. There would be no point in this. So integrated, is, is that why you want to get into Mikoshi? Constructs will be integrated? I mean you're gonna absorb them. Assimilate. No wonder you jumped at this chance. You want to destroy Mikoshi. Swallow all the psyches in there. Mikoshi is a prison. Through me, they gain the chance to become part of something greater. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that sounds a little nefarious, but I don't really see that we have any other option. And if that's Alt's reasoning for helping us, I think we just have to take you her up on it. nothing. Why? Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. Okay, and what what does the program do? Is it dirty? I think I know what it does. I think it's going to basically call her when we get there, but let's ask her anyway. What's on the shard? A vectored virus? A back door. It will open a passage for me. This is how you will get me into Mikoshi. Only then will I be able to help you. I hope you haven't cooked up any surprises, Alt. Use the key once you have reached Mikoshi. Okay, I can do that. And do I need to find a specific access point? Should I look for a specific access point? I can already tell you I saw the way to Tokyo will be back in every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard in Mikoshi. Leave the security to me. Until then. Oh, that was so good. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. You barely jacked in when your temperature went skyward to almost 100. The tech started acting as if you expected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech! That's what happened! Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're alright? Uh, sorry for the damage. Sorry about the damage. <sighs> and yeah, we feel great. Peachy. Good. Real good. And what about my shard? It's got something important on it. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Holy... Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. Yeah, Alt is not messing around. Now we're gonna go talk to Mitch. But it occurs to me right now that I did say that we would finalize our equipment build, which we never really got to. And I am completely naked right here for some reason. <laughs> but I do wanna fill out these 
mods thoughts because I've just been putting it off this whole time. But maybe we'll get to do that after speaking with Mitch. So let's head over here. You might as well have started with once upon a time. But that's just it. It doesn't matter where we go, we're strangers in our own land. Every state is practically its own country. It wasn't any different back then. Unity is a state of mind, Teddy. An imagined community. At least here, now, you know where you stand. Look at it this way. Life can't disappoint if you don't have expectations, illusions. Maybe that's exactly what freedom is, brother. If that's freedom, why do I feel like I can't breathe? Like somebody's gripped my throat and won't let go. Like I said, Teddy, it's a state of mind. Or, you know, the air. All right, I just wanted to finish their dialogue. I thought that conversation was pretty interesting. And we are going to go talk to Mitch, but I think we're coming up on time for the episode. And before we delve any deeper to this, let's just call it a day. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.